Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Voodoo here and welcome to episode 2 of my Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Emblem Editor Series. Today we're taking a look at the Spitfire logo which is to do with Spitfire clothing and uh, basically to give you a sort of rundown it took me about 40, 40 minutes to an hour to get this emblem sort of just right this whole sort of like emblem you're now going to see was 40 minutes of footage i have sped the video up and cut some bits cut some of my mistakes out some are still there but obviously if you guys feel that it's going too quick for you then feel free just to pause it or rewind it a little bit and just keep watching it again and again just to get it absolutely right but the biggest thing I can say is if you're new to emblem editors at all or you use the old one you haven't really used the new one the new editor is absolutely fantastic you can really do a lot of cool things with this this editor believe you me 32 layers might sound like a lot but on this emblem I was getting close to to the limit I, I, I think I used all 32 layers in the end um, to get it looking right and it's one of them things that if you've got 60 layers you'll end up doing even more so uh, just you can sort of make the detail a lot better now the stuff you're gonna need for this is you're gonna need a, a golf flag eight of them <clears throat> you're gonna need a full circle two of them windsock one of them a thimble two of them half circle five of them a main two of them, a uh, curved line two of, smile outline nine of them, and no uh, a flag, no wind, one of them. Now uh, you can see main circle in the middle, we've put the uh, some of the golf flags up on the top, sort of skewed them. So obviously all these shapes you see, you can change them. Now what I'm using there for the eyes is the main, and I've just sort of like made them smaller and uh, sort of skewed them a little bit. And then uh, we're using the curved line for the underside of the eyes. Now, basically, there's uh, you need to get familiar with everything. Obviously, you can flip the image. You can see with the main there that they're both going in a different direction. Now, all you have to do is press the uh, start button, I think it is. I've got it up on my screen. Bear with me two seconds. And uh, basically, yeah, if you press that's the back button. If you press the back button, you can flip the actual image sort of like that that emblem you can flip it over so that's where you can mirror image things now obviously the biggest thing is just getting a lot of use in in the editor now this is obviously my second proper emblem i've made like i say it took me near, nearly an hour to do this um had a couple of goes wasn't happy and then this one i was relatively happy with but it is a case of getting yourself familiar now i am learning things already about this editor now you can see i'm now going to do the mouth now what i did find is um similar to the original black ops editor now i changed the bottom of this mouth here so don't copy this bit but similar to the uh, original editor when you save the image some of the sh the actual sort of like uh, shapes can slightly move now at the end there that you should be able to see that there was sort of like there's gaps in the smile that wasn't looking just right so I ended up having to uh, re sort of like go in there and keep just minor adjusting the actual shapes just a little bit just to get them absolutely right because they didn't look to my standard that wasn't good enough so uh, all depends on how picky you are a lot of people probably won't care but I was really um, sort of like irritated that, that wasn't exactly how I want it but I've had a few questions on the previous video about uh, what what do I think to the new editor and like I said I think it's absolutely awesome um, it's just a case of familiarizing yourself with all the different things because there is a lot to take in and it can be a little bit awkward skewing all the uh, bits and pieces and get them just how you want but with a bit of time we'll all become a lot better with it and, and like I said in my previous video there may well be emblems that I will do again in the future in this series that I can now do better because I've get, got better shapes and bits and pieces I don't know we'll, we'll just see how it goes and see what happens I might not have to change any but we shall see but obviously yeah, that leads me on to the other thing um, what do you guys want to see I have got a list of emblems to do um, just obviously leave comments in the section below about what you'd want and the most popular comments um, will get like 
prioritised. If I see a lot of people asking for the same thing, um, feel free. If someone's written it um, before and you want to see the same video, write it again because it, I can then gauge how much that emblem is sort of like wanted by you guys, and I can sort of prioritise it in that that sort of thing. Obviously, really obscure things which are really sort of like very individual. They're not a high priority. I want to get the most popular stuff out first, and then we'll look at the other stuff that way. But other than that, there's lots of stuff coming your way. I've, I've had people asking me, how how many emblems and that are we going to be doing? Um, am I going to be doing more than the last series? Now, the last series hit 100 episodes, and I would really like to surpass that by at least double, I think. I don't know if that's going to be a tall feat. May well be, and I may run out of ideas, but as long as you guys are put, putting them my way, then uh, that will help out. But you can see here now, I ma what I did was I made the face um, without any background, so it's just the red part of the image. And then I, then once I'd got that all straight and I was happy the way that went, I then put in the actual background and the outline, which is that sort of finishes it off. On this background, it doesn't look, you can't really see it that well, but when you put it on back of a, a bright player card, it looks absolutely spot on. Now, uh, I don't. I was asking my, one of my friends because I've just I've been so busy. You can imagine with all the the new editor and all the bits and pieces, trying to get these emblems done and videos and trying to play the game as well. But I don't know if you can put emblems on guns. I haven't seen that option. Can any of you guys answer that? Is there an option to put it on guns? I've seen camo to go on guns, but I haven't seen emblems, which is a little bit of a shame if you can't put the emblem on the gun because that was always nice to see that on the gun. But still. I, th I still think that the player card system in, in Black Ops is far better than like the Modern Warfare 3. Them pre-made like, images are just boring. At least with this you can make whatever you want and uh, have a lot of fun doing so. Because it's a nice challenge when you see someone has made a, a sort of really cool logo and you think, how on earth has he done that? So uh, that's that's where I come in. So if you, you do see any out on the battlefield and you really like them, obviously come over to one of my videos and leave a, a suggestion in the comment section and that's what we'll do so we're just finishing off the edges here we're sort of just sharpening up the points on on the sort of us as fire obviously the flames sort of like giving them a little bit of a curved effect and just finishing off them little bits and you can see there what I was on about where we have the issues with the gaps near the mouth and that where that's moved from the actual emblem editor now also there's a few lines above the actual mouth as well which I then change by I make the half circle bigger to cover up them bits so it's all about basically you can do a little bit of trickery if it doesn't necessarily 100% fit properly as and when you want it you can cover things up with other stuff now that's the simplest way to sort of make it good now you had to use that technique a lot more in the original black ops emblem editor um, but in this one you don't quite need to do it quite so much but we're getting towards the end of the video here guys now if the video has really helped you out and you've enjoyed it please hit the like button and uh, that will help get the videos out there and if you really enjoyed it and you want to see more then subscribe to the channel and that way you will never miss any of my videos that are coming out but as always guys thanks ever so much for watching i hope it's been beneficial to you this is just the beginning of the emblem editor leave suggestions down below if you've got any you would like to see and uh, i will be bringing out videos very regularly so please stay tuned. Thanks ever so much guys and I shall see you later. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter. Feel free to check me out on there. That way you'll never miss any of the videos I post and you'll get to read some of the mundane tweets that I manage to tweet out on a daily basis. Thanks ever so much guys and I'll see you later.